it is definitely in the area of things that we see on a daily basis here. Um, you know, with an older house, something that was built anytime after, say, 1930, typically it's from 1930 to, let's say, 1970, 1975, most of those homes will not have a footing around the perimeter of the house. So the way the construction style is a little bit different and we have to treat it a little bit different than a house that was built, such, let's say, 1970s and newer. So as we discussed in a previous podcast, these old newer homes we use, use typically use an injection process. Unfortunately, when we get into the older homes, uh, it's very challenging because in the newer homes, we rely on that concrete to concrete to concrete seam to encapsulate the area where the water's coming in. On an older home, say anything that was built after 1930, uh, those homes are going to be, uh, the concrete walls are gonna be placed directly onto compacted soil or gravel. And then the floor is going to be brought right up against it. So we don't have a footing underneath the perimeter of the home. And this is a challenge because the process of injection is just basically gonna flood underneath there and not create the best seal possible. So when we get into these older homes, we need to understand, well, how widespread is this problem? If it's a widespread problem or you have an entire length of wall or multiple walls where water is coming actively coming through that seam, so a sump pump might be your best option. And that would actually get the water table out and the pressure out from under there. It may resolve in that there's a few areas that we still need to hit. In that case, we need to spot treat it. If it is an isolated area or an area that's within reason, let's say a half of a wall or a handful of feet, we would actually do a different process than the injection. We would chisel out that wall and then install a quartz-based uh, masonry material that actually will plug the pores of the concrete and go up in the wall and also down to the floor, basically encapsulating that area, creating a barrier for the water to not come through there. It's, it's not the best choice to do that around the entire perimeter because it will not block out every uh, piece of pressure that's gonna come through there. But if there's an, an isolated area, we can fortify that uh, fairly well. So that's why it's important when we ask these questions with customers is knowing how old your home is and the style of construction really depends on the right proper service for it because we don't wanna put the wrong application for the wrong type of home give you an inferior result. So it's important to see what, where these waters are coming in and knowing the age of your home and that really dictates what things are available for you to actually resolve the issue.